What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. In this next video, what we gotta do is we gotta take both of these expressions here, we have to simplify both of them to only have positive exponents. So starting with number one, we got x to the negative three plus y to the negative three, all over x to the negative two plus y to the negative two. So first thing I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to rewrite it with positive exponents. So this x to the negative three, we can rewrite as one over x to the three, and then we're gonna have plus the y to the negative three, we can rewrite as one over y to the three. And that's gonna be all over x to the negative two would be one over x to the two, and then y to the negative two would be one over y to the two, like that. Right, so in my opinion, it's better to work with this than this over here. And in fact, this is pretty much a necessary step in order for you to simplify. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take both this numerator, this portion in brackets, and then this denominator, and I'm gonna put them as one fraction, create one fraction for each of them, and then we can divide both of those fractions pretty easily. So to make these one fraction here, so let's work with the numerator first. What we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna need a common denominator because we have two fractions that are adding. And notice that these two factors, they're totally different, so the common denominator is gonna be both of those factors multiplied. So to get to here to here, we have to multiply this by y to the three. So we multiply the top by y to the three. To get from here to here, we have to multiply this by x to the three. So we multiply this top by x to the three. And so we'd end up with y to the three plus x to the three in the uh, numerator. So this bracket and this are the exact same thing. And just now notice that this here, it's one fraction. So I'm gonna rewrite that over here in the main simplification. Okay, so we got that portion. Now this portion, exact same thing. Two different factors, the common denominator between them is gonna be x squared, y squared. And then this we have to multiply by y squared, both the numerator and the denominator. This we multiply by x squared. So we multiply the numerator by x squared as well. So we'd end up with y squared plus x squared, like that. All right, so this denominator simplifies to that. And so now notice we have one fraction divided by another. So another way we can write this, if we continue simplifying here, we can say this is like y to the three plus x to the three all over x to the three, y to the three divided by y squared plus x squared all over x squared, y squared, like that. Now, if they do ask for restrictions at this point, you're dealing with rational expressions here, you can get the restrictions. So notice we can get the restrictions from the denominators and for both of them, notice x can't be zero, y can't be zero, because that would make the denominator zero. Um, and then the y squared plus x squared, you always, uh, since we're dividing, you wanna look at the numerator for restrictions as well, but the y squared plus x squared, that can't equal zero, right? There's no x or uh, y value, except for both of them equaling zero, which is already taken care of up here, right? This here, y squared plus x squared, that can't factor. You can't factor a sum of squares. You could factor a difference of squares, which is actually gonna be in the second expression we'll be working with, but a sum of squares, you can't factor that further, right? So those are the only restrictions right there. So to simplify further, we rewrite this new uh, fraction as is, and then this here we would flip like that. And then to simplify this, notice that we have x to the two, x to the three, so there'd be one x left at the bottom here, y to the two, y to the three, there'd be one y left at the bottom. And then this here, these two, they don't simplify because there's that addition 
in the expressions. So this doesn't factor here. This can factor. Uh, so you know what, actually, before showing you, let's, uh, let's kind of group these together now with our new simplification. So we have xy at the bottom, so we'd end up with y to the 3 plus x to the 3 over xy y squared plus x squared. And because it's an addition here, you can write x to the 3 plus y to the 3 x squared plus y squared as well if you want. So just be careful there's a multiple choice answer. Uh, what I was going to say is this you could factor the y to the 3 plus x to the 3. That's a sum of cubes. So that can factor into y plus x uh, y squared minus xy plus x squared. And again, you can, uh, if you wrote this as x to the 3 plus y to the 3, this can also factor as x plus y, x squared minus xy plus y squared. Right? This and this are the exact same thing. We're just switching up the order. But notice if we took this numerator and rewrote it here, still nothing would cancel. Right? So you can put this, either of these expressions, in the numerator. I feel like it's going to make it look more complex. But uh, you never know, even in a multiple choice question, you may have this be in the numerator. So you got to be a little bit careful, but I'm going to keep it like this because even if we do factor this sum of cubes, put this here, there's no factors that are going to cancel out at all, right? So this here ends up being the final simplified expression for this. Those are the restrictions and notice that it's all positive exponents. Now moving on to the second expression, we got x to the negative 3 minus y to the negative 3 all over x to the negative 2 minus y to the negative 2. So same steps. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these up, rewrite them like this. And this one's going to have more simplification because of this minus here and mainly because we're going to end up dealing with a difference of uh, squares. So let me show you how this works. So here, the numerator, I'm going to take this, I'm going to simplify, make it one fraction. So same process as before. So we would multiply these two, x to the 3, y to the 3. And then this here, this we multiply by y to the 3. So we multiply the top by y to the 3, and that's just a 1 there minus this we multiplied by x to the 3 to get here, so we multiply the top by x to the 3. So we'd have y to the 3 minus x to the 3, like that. Okay, so that's going to be, actually let's just continue it here. So this bracket here is going to be this bracket, right? This and this are the exact same thing, it's just we took this, made it into one fraction, and then this here, same thing, the common denominator is going to be x squared, y squared. So this we multiply by y squared, meaning the top we multiply by y squared. And then this we multiply by x squared, so we, uh, that means the top we multiply by x squared as well. So then we have that right there. So this bracket and this bracket are the exact same thing. And then from here, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take this and I'm going to rewrite it uh, a little bit without this big fraction in the middle. So we're taking this, dividing it by this. So y squared minus x squared, x squared, y squared. And now here, what we can do before we didn't factor because this here was a y squared plus x squared so that didn't factor so we couldn't get any restrictions from this numerator but now this is a difference of squares so we actually can get uh, some new restrictions from this numerator here so what I'm gonna do before simplifying I'm actually going to factor this we could factor and then this we could factor. So the y to the 3 minus x to the 3, that's a difference of cubes. So that's going to be y minus x. And then we're going to have uh, y squared plus xy plus x squared. 
right? And actually, you know what? I'm gonna give myself a little more room, so I'm gonna continue this here. So this continues here. Uh, so we'll have y minus x, and then we'll have y squared plus xy plus x squared, right? So this here factors into that. This is still gonna be all over x to the three, y to the three. And now we're gonna be dividing by this fraction. And then the y squared minus x squared, that factors into y minus x, y plus x. And that's gonna be all over um, x squared, y squared, like that. And then from here, before simplifying this, let's get the restriction. So notice that from both denominators, x can't be zero, y can't be zero. And then uh, from this numerator, notice y minus x can't be zero, because we can't be dividing by, if, one of the, if the numerator here is zero, the whole thing is zero, we can't divide by zero. So y minus x can't be zero, meaning y can't be x. That's a restriction. And then y plus x can't be zero, which means, uh, let's isolate for the x. x can't be negative y. We could have also isolated for the y, brought the x over, but same thing. So x cannot be negative y. So in this case, for this expression, we have four restrictions. And again, you may be asked for restrictions, you may not be. If you're not asked for restrictions, you could just ignore this part, but if you are, thought I would put them there. All right, so just changing the expression to have a minus minus, notice how much it's changing the simplification. And then from here, so we got our four restrictions, and then from here, let's just simplify this so we'd have y minus x, uh, y squared plus x, y plus x squared, all over x to the three, y to the three. And then here we flip this. And we're gonna be multiplying it now. And then from here, so like before, these cancel out and then there's an x and y left down here. But then notice that we have a y minus x and a y minus x right there that cancels out as well. And then nothing else cancels like this and this are different. So what we would end up with is we're just left with this bracket up top. And it's going to be all over xy times y plus x. Like that. And then you could even distribute this if you want. I'm going to keep it factored. The numerator you can't factor further. So this ends up being final answer. In a potential solution, you may see this in different order. So you may see like x plus y here in the uh, in this bracket. And then here, maybe you'll have x squared and then y squared at the end. Right? So just be careful with multiple choice questions. This could all be in different formats. This could be expanded. But nevertheless, I'm going to keep it like this. Right? So this here simplifies into that. And then those are the four restrictions.